I'm here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai and I'm very pleased to be joined by Gabriel Gauthier, who is Executive Vice President of Global Government and Public Affairs for Alcatel Lucent. Gabriel, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Debates at ITU Telecom World 2012 have been focusing very much on the current radical transformation of the ICT sector and its implications for the industry and the world in which we live. What for you is the principal opportunity arising from this transformation? Um, I really think that the biggest um, change in the last two or three years in our world is the rapid um, up uptake of mobile broadband and its huge transformational power. Um, mobility is now everywhere, Here, being in developed or developing countries. Six billion uh, human beings have a mobile phone, but out of the six billion, 1.2 is a mobile broadband connection. And in five years' time, probably five billion human beings will have in their pocket and in their hand a higher processing power than uh, the, the computers of the 1980s. Now this has huge implications both for the development of this world, we know that 10% bro extra broadband penetration triggers uh, GDP growth up to 1.2% in developed uh, economies and even more in developing economies, 3% and create jobs. We all know that so the small and medium companies who have embraced uh, broadband, internet and mobile broadband um, create twice as many jobs as the others. So I think really this is the biggest um, change uh, and it's not an evolution, it's a revolution uh, not only in the ICT sector but uh, for the world. And what do you perceive to be the main challenges uh, brought about by this transformation? The main challenge is to cope with it and to cope with this huge amount of data that is going to come uh, from these mobile, uh, enable, internet enabled mobile phones. Um, we anticipate a, a multiplication by a factor of 25 to 30 in the five coming years uh, with this data explosion. How are we going to cope with it um, in times of disruption for the industry. We know that service providers who have been uh, rather wealthy in the past years uh, have more difficulties um, and that the value chains change uh, in favor of the so-called over-the-top players. Um, so we have to deal with scarcity of investment funds at a time where never never uh, in the last 15 years so much invest investment has been needed. Second is we have to deal with the scarcity and especially the scarcity of spectrum which is the the, the second bottleneck. Uh, so how are we going to cope? Three, uh, three various answers. The first one, we need more spectrum. We need more harmonized spectrum in the world but we know it's not a totally expandable uh, good. Uh, second, we need more um, innovative technologies. LTE is more efficient. 4G um, uh, is more efficient than um, 3G, for instance. And third, we need not more to, uh, new topographies, small cells, but with small cells come the need for backhaul. So we also need new investment models. We can't go on uh, in, the, in the world we have known in the last 10 years and invest uh, as we have done. And last but not least, innovation is not just technology is about new business models, is about how do we make um, these new uh, essential applications um, like mobile health, mobile education, which have the biggest transformational power, especially for developing countries, um, and they know it. How do we make them happen? We make them happen through um, a collaboration of not only technology service providers, uh, not only um, uh, service, uh, uh, traditional service providers, apps providers, but also governments, education, health. Um, there is one doctor in Sudan per 100,000 people. There is a lack in the developing world of over 1.5 billion uh, community health workers. Now, these people know much better than the developed world that they will that mobile broadband is the future that they will not be able to do without it how do we make all these people work together to make it happen and i think this is perhaps uh, one of the biggest challenges of this itu well, we're, we're very much here and we're, we're here at ITU Telecom World 2012. I wanted to finally ask you, why is an event like this important? 
An event like this is important, first of all, because it's, of course, it's, um, it's an assembly of policymakers, ministers, regulators, who need to understand uh, that they, the world is changing, that they have a role to play collaboratively with uh, the, the private sector um, to make these business models, uh, to enable these business models, and probably through a change of the traditional regulation. Um, and they have in their hands uh, one of the scarcest and most valuable goods, which is spectrum. And spectrum allocation can be twofold. Um, they must see that as an essential asset, not to reap value out of the private sector, but to bring it to the population and to their the countries to enable these uh, uh, invaluable new business models to happen, especially in these two domains, mobile health and mobile education. Gabrielle Gauthier, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you for having me.